Hi guys, I've just got a short video for you today and it's all about how you can harness the power of your cover image on your Facebook page to drive more traffic and that can be both to drive traffic to your page itself but also um, to create a call to action to maybe drive traffic to your website, to a sale that you've got on, to your newsletter, something like that. So let me just tell you a little bit more about the, back, the cover image. Now, you should use it to try and deliver as much information as you can about your business. Now, mine, uh, at the moment, it's just a fairly standard one. Obviously, it um, has got my the title of my page on there. It's about building your business and obviously because it's to do with um, cartwheels, there's an image of a cartwheel on there. But I could add a lot more information on here. I could put a lot more about the fact that I offer marketing services and training. I could put something about social media. And I've just got some different ideas for things that you can use on your, um, on your header. So you could have one photo which sums up who you are and what you offer. You could do maybe a collage of all your different products. Um, you could have maybe like just something telling people about a current offer, an event or a sale or another good idea is to put a testimonial on your page because that can really draw people's attention to what your business does. Um, there are a few rules on Facebook, so do make sure that you're not doing anything which is against the Facebook rules. So just have a, a quick glance through the, the terms for pages. Now you should also um, change your cover image up fairly re regularly as this allows you to showcase more things and it also shows up in the timeline when you change it. And another thing is that if somebody likes your page, your header photo or a large percentage of it shows up in that person's timeline so it appears to their friends. Now that gives you a good opportunity because if somebody sees something on the co cover image that they like, they may well click through. So that's why, you know, if you do something handmade, it could be good to really do a beautiful collage of what you offer so that people can see exactly what you're about. Um, so that's another reason why you want to change it up quite often because you're adding variety there. Now, I just want to show you something which can really take your cover image to the next level. And what you can do is you can actually create a call to action button on your Facebook page. Now, obviously, you've got your call to action button here, so that's fine. That might have your shop or it might have your newsletter. So you might want to do something different up here. Now, I'm actually going to do a call to action for my newsletter, which is what I've got here, but I'm not really going to use this. I'm just showing you it as an example. So let me just show you if I uploaded this new photo that I've created um, and I've actually created it in um, PicMonkey and I've got a free course for PicMonkey so I'll leave the link to that if you want to use it. Now PicMonkey is really fab to use for Facebook image covers because it actually um, provides you with the, the right size and everything. So I just did this really really quickly um, just to show you an example. So I saved the changes there and really what I'm drawing people's attention to is a call to action for my newsletter so um, it tells them what I'm giving away it you know if you've got something that you're giving away as a freebie to encourage people to sign up then why not just draw people's attention to it now it doesn't have to be for your newsletter this could be for anything it could be for you know um, like the page and get 10% off to learn more click here or um, click here to learn about, you know, find out what we offer on the page, you know, whether it's tips or tricks or giveaways, whatever it is. Now, you might be thinking, well, they can't really click there because what happens when somebody clicks on your header image? Not much. But there is actually a way to add some more information. And what you need to do, um, let me just refresh that page because then the photo will show up in the timeline so I can edit it easily. So what you hear, you've just uploaded your image. So click on it and then what you can do is 
you can add a description. So you can put in here um, to pick up your free copies of these two um, guides. I'll just put this quickly. Um, please sign up for my newsletter. And then you would just put in there your, oops, cartwheels cross. Should have really copied and pasted it. That would have been a lot quicker, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, so there you go. You've got your call to action. Now, remember, you can put whatever you want to in here, but it's just a way of when they click through, they're going to get, get to this. So I'm just going to click done editing so you can see that the call to action there and the link it probably won't take me to the right link but oh actually did I remembered it correctly um, okay so then you close it now if somebody clicks on here that's going to open up and they are going to immediately see your call to action so it's a really good way of just getting a lot more bang for your buck really out of your cover image and the other thing that you've got to remember is now when um, you know when they're scrolling through that's probably going to attract their attention more there's something there that's free they're gonna see the click here people are going to try it whether you know it says whether they think it works or it doesn't work and they're immediately going to see that to the right and they can then sign up straight away they haven't got to find your newsletter they haven't got to find your sale whatever it is they can do it straight away and just one more quick tip um, you can also do this with your profile picture so if you add a different profile picture or you know you change that up quite regularly or even the one that's there um, what you need to do is you need to go into your photos find the current one that you're using um, you can just go in here go into your photos and um, go to your profile photo find it and you can actually add a call to action there so it could be you know to find out more about me if you're a coach or something or an accountant maybe if it's a picture of you you link through to your about me page or you can link through to anything that you want to your website whatever is is best for you so as you can see guys that's a really cool way of just getting some extra um stuff out of your header image and I'm actually going to leave that on there for a little while to see if I get any click-throughs. I hope you enjoy the videos guys and I'll see you soon.